Hey there everybody, here is my new RCB Twang Master 3 that I just completed and I'm going to play it a little bit for you and of course you're going to be amazed especially at the quality of this high dollar production video done with my $69 Kodak ZI-8. Okay, there will be no special effects used in making this video. Just in case you know, want to want you to know that. Close the door. What we have here is we have P90s, a couple Gibson P90s, Gato Nashville Bridge, genuine a Bigs B. I have uh, two volume controls and one tone control. Then I have the famous recessed electro socket jack. The guitar is a complete mahogany back, nice, and the top is flamed maple. The finish is true oil, first finish I ever did with true oil, and I like this stuff. I see why those sports nuts do their guns with those that stuff. It's so easy to work with, it's cheap. It does take a lot of coats, probably in this case about 20 of them because it goes on so thin and builds up so slightly. Uh, the neck uh, is 14 inch radius, uh, bone nut cut by yours truly. I did have to use uh, string trees on this guy and uh, to get a nice angle to go back in there. But anyway, there's the RCB Twang Master, uh, genuine Gato tuners, so Gato Nashville Bridge and Gato Tuners. Uh, I'll be playing through my modified Princeton Reverb, which is uh, approximately 25 watts right now. It has an Allen, 30 watt Allen tranny in it, runs on 6L6s, and uh, it's nothing like a, a real Princeton anymore. Uh, more, more like a deluxe, only I think nicer. So anyway, this is the guitar, and uh, there's some of the finish work. I did have to um, put a slight shim in this neck to get the angle for the big speed. This is the third one I built. This is the first one I had to actually put a little shim in, but my gosh, it sure turned out wonderful. It plays like a dream, and I'm sure somebody with a lot of talent could really make this thing sing. So anyway, here we go. Uh, I'm assuming we can, that this is on the camera because I don't have a monitor. I'll just push off the tuner here. And this is the amp. No uh, reverb, no nothing. Um, you can hear the little hum. Got that wonderful little P90 hum, but not too bad on these. Actually, I was real surprised. The uh, volume controls, neck, bridge, and tone. So here's the neck. So if I roll the tone off, you can see. I get quite a bit of tone rolled off of there with this. Oh, I also used a 22 for the cap. Uh, a, uh, one of those orange guys, orange drop. Yeah. Videos, you 
you must spend a lot of time rehearsing because they're so flawless. And I say, yeah. Anyway, I love it. It's got a great tone to it. When you're out there playing with the band, it uh, really, really sings along. Um, is that these both pups are about 7.94, 798. They're just so close to being the same, which is the way Gibson does their P90s and their classic 57s. There isn't really like a bridge or a neck. You just kind of take the hottest one and put it back here. And they're both so close. But anyway, uh, with the volume full up on the neck, they're not very balanced. Like right here, this is the bridge. There's the neck. But I had to roll off some of the volume on the neck to get it to be a balanced tone. If I turn this neck up, there's a pretty nice difference between the two. just is so great. It's the first time I ever did a 14 inch, had a 14 inch radius neck, uh, except I think my Hagstrom has that on it, but uh, kind of like it. It's a little flatter, uh, easier for the uh, for bending. from Humboldt. Right, to Jackson, Tennessee. Could have gone to St. Carl. Well, anyway, that's all. But anyway, you kind of get the idea. It plays great. That's it. 
new Twang Master 3. Think it's a keeper.